always tracking, always alerting. Here's your StormTrack 15 weather. Welcome back. It is 516 this morning. Strong storms are moving through the area right now, so we need to get the latest from StormTrack 15 meteorologist Adam Olivia. Yeah, Ryan, we're watching this picture behind me from our News 15 Tower camera because we've seen a lot of lightning this morning. In fact, there you see one of those flashes of lightning. We can hear the thunder here at News 15 too as these storms are getting closer and closer, and we've had some bouts of rain out there as well. But the worst of the weather, still not to Lafayette yet but it is getting closer. You can see really filling in with a lot of heavy rain from just to the west of New Iberia in Abbeville. Lafayette reporting a thunderstorm. The worst of this weather up towards Opelousas and Ville Platte and Jennings. Temperatures a little bit rain cooled there. The Lafayette is still sitting at 70. Now we've had some severe weather with this too. A lot of severe warnings were back out to our west. Those have all been dropped. There's now a few severe thunderstorm warnings up to our north and part of it does include St. Landry Parish. Now this is for the line mainly this leading edge of the line where we see the strongest of those winds. It's almost out of St. Landry Parish, but it's approaching Melville right now. But so that continues until 530 today. You can see that line stretches back down through Opelousas. It is just pouring there right now into Karen Crow as well. Sunset Grand Coteau seeing some of this as well. And you can see that back down to the south and west into Acadia. Jeff Davis parishes. Still a lot of heavy rain building on back. While the severe threat is really out ahead of this, you still have a long way to go before this rain is done, which means flooding could become a possibility in places like Crawley and rain, even over towards Dusan, stretching down to Gaydon, Kaplan. Back down to New Iberia. Big storm about to roll on in. Here's the heavy rain entering into Lafayette and Youngsville as we speak. Now, the good news is this line is very progressive, meaning that it's moving along quickly. So we're not expecting this to kind of stick around like what was the case yesterday. Some models said that this may be around through midday. But the worst of the weather you see by 7 o'clock should be east of the area. Now that doesn't mean the rain is done. We're likely going to still see some lingering heavy rain through about 9 10 o'clock this morning, especially from I 49 eastbound. The rain will continue to push on off to the east here before things start to settle on down by midday. A few lingering showers will be possible into the afternoon where our temperatures rebound, getting into the lower 70s there. For today, a severe risk mainly exists east of I 49 because those storms are moving pretty quickly here. Low end risk. A spin-up tornado, some damaging winds, and there you can see the flood threat is kind of the greatest issue from this system. So remember, now's a good time to download that News 15 weather app to get those weather alerts, radar, all that stuff as we track these storms through the rest of today. Lower 70s for daytime highs as we rebound in the afternoon. Tonight, a little bit cooler into the upper 50s. And then for your weekend, as we change the calendar over, we stay dry. Temperatures in the 70s both Saturday and Sunday. A few lingering showers possible early Saturday morning. But to welcome in 2023, we are going to be cool and damp. A few clouds in the sky out there. And then after the fireworks go off at midnight, some fog will likely develop around the area. Next week, we're focusing on Monday and Tuesday, Monday afternoon into Tuesday morning for another severe threat for our area before finally we get rid of this wet weather and see some cooler times there for the middle part of the week. Uh, thank you, Adam. Yeah, obviously download that app or just stay tuned to News 15 throughout the morning as Adam covers this storm rolling through our area. We appreciate you.